There's only one uh, Quran. There are no various versions or, or whatnot. It's one standard copy of the Quran across the Muslim world. And uh, really, there's not been any variant version versions of the Quran uh, people find so confusing. The topic is that of the various recitations of the Quran, the various different ways of how to recite the Quran. And when we say the various different ways to recite the Quran, we are not talking about different voices or different styles. We're talking about slight differences in pronunciations, slight differences in letters, slight differences in harakat. In other words, if you were to compare two printed Qurans, you're going to see differences between them. And this is something that many people are unaware of and many people have heard but are not fully familiar with, especially those who have been exposed to uh, some of our brothers who live in Algeria or Morocco or other North African countries. They recite the Quran in a slightly different way, not just a voice or not just a, a, a speaking style, but also changes in letters and, and, and words and, and uh, harakat. Standard copy of the Quran across the Muslim world. In other words, if you were to compare two printed Qurans, you are going to see differences between them. As you just noticed, Yasser al Qadi, a scholar of Islam, lying and contradicting what he said earlier. As you see, when scholars are with Christians, they will use lies and taqiyya to prove and defend Islam. But when they are not with Christians, they will contradict what they said earlier, right? And as you see, we just spanked and busted this lying, deceiving scholar in Islam. Today, guys, we are going to show you that the Quran is 100% corrupted by men. And we are going to destroy the 1400 years old Islamic claim. We're going to show you that there are missing words in the same verse in different Quran versions or recitations. We will show you that even dots and vowels can change the meaning for the same verse in different Quran versions. So let us start and show you that Muslims, the poor victims in Islam, have been deceived. You need to know Arabic to understand that the Quran has been played with, that it has been corrupted by human hands, hands like you and me, our hands. So Muslims need to be shown this video. I want to ask you to download my video and share it everywhere because I think this is one of the most important videos on the internet. If you call yourself a brother or sister in Christ, download this video and show this video to Muslims. The truth must be told and only the truth can set us all free. Muslims, you need to wake up and leave this satanic cult called Islam. This deceiving satanic cult that is still keeping alive, kept alive by the liars and scumbags called scholars like this Dr. Yasser Khali. They've been lying to you till today. Wake up. So let us start this teaching. As you know, today is Ramadan. So Muslims might started to feast and fill their bellies with a lot of nice delicious food. So let us start also with a nice bang, right? So this is chapter 33, ayah 68. Let me play the recitations for you. So Muslims can't say, hey, Rob Christian, you are lying. Let me play the Hafs version. <laughs> So as you heard, this was the Hafs version recitation and you need to pay attention to the last word, Kabiran. So let me play the Qalun and Warsh versions. This is Qalun. 
ربنا آتهم ضعفين من العذاب والعنهم لعنا كثيرا The first one was Kabira and the second was, one was Kathira. Now let me, play, let me play for you Warsh version. Rabbana atihim dhi'fain min al-azab wal-anhum la'nan kathira. So as you heard again for the second time, Kathira. So the Hafs version says Kabira, and both the Qalun and Warsh versions say Kathira. Hafs version says it means great, great curse. But both the Qalun and the Warsh versions are using many as word. So you see that the meaning is changed. Why did Muslims always say the Quran is one? As you see, we have found here two different meanings, two different words. Let us go to a second ayah and show you the differences in variations. So as you saw, the dots here change the meaning of the word let us go to the second one like i said this is chapter 43 ayah 19 of the quran the first one is the hafs version now pay attention to these two words let me play the hafs version for you first وَجَعَلُوا الْمَلَائِكَةَ الَّذِينَ هُمْ عِبَادُ الرَّحْمَنِ إِنَاثًا أَشَهِدُوا خَلْقَهُمْ So that was the Hafs version. Now let me play the Qalun version. وَجَعَلُوا الْمَلَائِكَةَ الَّذِينَ هُمْ عِنْدَ الرَّحْمَنِ did you hear it? The first one was Ibadu. The second was is Inda. Ibadu. Inda. Do you hear the difference? Again. Ibadu. Inda. The first one means in the Hafs version, slaves of. The second one in the Qalun versions version means with now let me play the th third one warsh again عند. so the hafs version does not agree with the qalun and warsh versions so again Muslims we have different Qur'ans different variations for the second time uh oh Muslims what are you going to do now different meanings of words totally two different words now let us go to a third example This is the third example, chapter 98 of the Quran, ayah 6. Let me play for you the Hafs version for this ayah. So as you heard, Bariya. Okay? So let me play for you the Qalun version. In 
Sharrul Bari'a. So the first one means creatures, the worst of creatures, and the second is the worst of innocent. Different meanings. Uh oh, different words, different meanings. As you see here, the vowels are playing an important part, right? So even a vowel can change the meaning. A dot can change the meaning of a word. Muslims, as you saw, this is the third example that we just played for you and showed you how the Quran has been played with. Muslims, this is not difference in dialects as you have claimed for the last 1400 years. No, we have here different in meanings of words. The ayahs are completely changed in meanings. No dialects as you have claimed. No, no, no. The proof is in front of you. Stop listening to your filthy, lying, deceiving scholars. Let us go to a fourth example. So we will end with, with a very big bang. Now I'm going to show you from chapter 57, ayah 24, that a complete word is missing. Now pay attention to this word. As you see, it's gone. And let me pray the recitation for this ayah. Chapter 57, ayah 24. Let me play the Hafs version first. Pay attention, guys. Hua, as you have heard, here you heard the word Hua. Now let me play for you the Qalun version that will not agree with the Hafs version. الذين يبخلون ويأمرون الناس بالبخل ومن يتولى فإن الله الغني الحميد. Guys, the word هو, as you heard, is gone. There is no هو. The he is or he is gone. Where is the word he? So a complete word is missing, guys, as you have heard. Now let me play. The Warsh recitation. Alladina Yabakaluna Wayamuna Nasabil Buch Wamayyatawa Lafa in the law Hell Rani Ulhamid. Alladina Yabakaluna Wayamuna Nasabil Buch Wamayyatawa Lafa in the law Hell Rani Ulhamid. Again, a third recitation where now the Hua is for the second time missing. You didn't hear the Shaykh recite it between Allah al Ghani or Allah al Ghani. So a complete word is missing. We gave you four different examples where dots can change the meaning where vowels can change meaning and where a complete word is missing muslims you need to wake up your quran has been played with this has nothing to do with dialects muslims have always claimed that only the dialect is different no the, the proof is in front of you you heard it from the sheikh and as you see the proof has been put in front of you. Either you're going to deal with it as a Muslim and leave Islam, this filthy satanic cult that you have been a victim of, or if you want to accept this, you can stay Muslim. 
The truth is in front of you. If you are a man enough or women enough, you need to handle the truth. Thank you for watching guys. Download this video, share it around everywhere and God bless.